I actually uh, ended up getting into home improvement by almost as a joke. I was looking for a job. My mom wanted me to find a job in Atlanta uh, because I went to college in Ohio and I went overseas, played a little bit of basketball. And then my mom asked me if I could find a job that would keep me close to my family. And I really didn't want to because I had a job already in Dayton, Ohio. But she said, just try to find a job. And I took a job just planning on being there for one day. It was in the home improvement industry. It was actually in telemarketing. And I was like, there's no way I'm gonna continue to do this. Before I knew it, I started liking it. It was great competition, um, great camaraderie there. Uh, we would go and we'd have uh, competitions and we'd bet on who's gonna write the amount of leads and those kind of things. And before I knew it, I had been there for seven years. And so that's how I got into home improvement. And then I moved from telemarketing to canvassing. And I ran a canvas department for that company. After a while, then I decided I was going to start my own company. And I started my own company selling siding, windows, roofing, and gutters. And we did that. And after I did that for a while, we built that company. And um, I decided I would gamble for a living. That was kind of a mistake. <laughs> but uh, so I sold my company to do that. And I gambled for 18 months. And then I ended up losing all, everything that I had, and I had to start up. So when I started over, the only thing I could think of that I could make quick money so I could pay my gambling debts was home improvement. And so I came back into home improvement as a salesman, and I realized that being a salesman was different than telemarketing. The reason is, over the phone, they can't see what you look like. In real life, when you go to people's home, they can see, and I was in Georgia, rural Georgia. And so people could see that I was a black man and that didn't go over well. So I had to do things different. So most of the system that I have was developed because I had to do things different to even the playing field so that people would trust who I am, believe what I'm saying. So that's really how my system came about and it really took off. I did very, very well. And so the company asked me to become the sales manager and then, and then later on vice president. And so I helped to build that company to over a hundred million dollar company. And uh, they decided they were gonna sell the company. And so I kinda didn't like the way things went. And so I started my own company back up again. And we had really, really great success because of what I learned, because of all the things that I had to do different to even the playing field. You know, honestly, the way that I look at it is this. This business changed my life. In 2000, I was dead broke. I bounced one check in my life, and it was for $15 in 2000. That's about as low as you can go. And I was able to get back into home improvement and change my entire life in 24 months. And when I go out and, and Really, it's a really interesting story. I went, my son was in kindergarten, and I went to this kindergarten graduation, and they have every kid get up and say what they want to be when they grow up. And almost every one of those kids said they wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. Even my own son didn't say home improvement. And I'm like, wow, why don't we get more respect? Why don't kids want to do what we do? I mean, we take care of our families very well. And I said, well, you know what? I owe it to this business to do that. It's changed my life. So what I just try to do is change other people's lives. And that is my big thing. And my biggest, my biggest goal is to make 20 millionaires by the time I retire. So far, we're at 10 millionaires that we made. What I call it making a millionaire is somebody that wasn't even making a lot of money and now they're worth multiple millions of dollars. Financially, you cash and property. Once you become a multimillionaire, then I've accomplished my goal. And, my, and I started, I was 10, and that went really quickly. Our system was working so much better than I thought, and I'm not really ready to retire yet, so I increased it to 20. So I got 10 more to go, then I'm done. The biggest reason people fail is they don't practice. They don't get better. We show a video in our training that talks about the two different zones. There's a learning zone and a performance zone. If you spend most of your time in the learning zone, you're gonna get better. 
So what happens is almost every contractor spends all of his time in the performance zone. All he does is work, 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 and he never gets any better. And if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. And that's what ends up happening. What we do to change people's growth is we make them spend more time in the learning zone. If you spend more time in the learning zone than the performance zone, you're going to get better. And that's how we make that transition, and that's why people fail.